Ah, tower defence. A game where you simply place down towers at your disposal while sending in troops to defeat the enemy team at free will. But what if you were to take away that free will of yours to place down as many towers and troops of your choice? Well, we're about to find out. My name is Normal 7 guys, and welcome to Random Tower Defence. Hello everybody, my name is Dartmoth7 and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Online. In today's video guys, we're going back onto Tower Defense to have a bit of fun. But, stayed at the start of the video, we are going to be randomizing certain parts of the game to give it more of a spice up, as I would say. The idea of how I've got is pretty simple. All you have to do is play the same as usual, but you've got two parts of the game that are randomized, as stated at the start. You've got both the tower placement and the troop sending in. I'll be using... I'll pop it up quick. Um, and give me a second guys, I'm getting up the app for the now, or I should say the website. Here we are. Simply, it's just a random number generator. I can only use those items, sorry, those m troops and towers for the rest of the game. Other than that, I have to play as simple. I can level up anything else that are within the... or sorry, that are outside of those two categories. But, aside from that, those are the two things that are randomised. But anyways, enough explain. how about we get into it, and try out the game. So between 1 and 11, for the first time, we can only use 8. So what, let's see, what towers are we able to use? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can only use poison towers, and, let's have a look. Number, oh, sorry, between, oh, doesn't matter, <laughs> number 9, so... Number nine, um, we can only, oops, use, what mobs can we only use? Slimes, oh, that could be bad. So we can only use poison towers and slimes, oh, wait, that's not good. Those are two not so great things to start off with. Poison towers I don't really mind, but slimes, that could be a bit of a problem. Oh, use the freeze them. Come on. Okay, let's hop over to the center, or sorry, to the base and put a poison tower Right at the corner. No, don't beat me into. Oh no, 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 no. Poison. All right, I'll come up to the other side and I'll do the exact same. Right up down here. Actually, no, it's not. That's gonna be used for turrets. Hopefully, people use them right. Um, here we go. Place down our poison and upgrade it to as much as I can. Okay, I need to start killing enemies to get some XP. I don't really have a clue, guys, if I can actually get XP, which could be a problem. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to change up the system a little bit. I can only use towers. Well, actually, I guess for the start, I can only use zombies and my selective choice. But that is only once I've unlocked them, I can't use them again. Yeah, we'll do it like that now for guys. I didn't realise that you couldn't really get XP, unless I have no other way of actually... Oh, my switches. Get a moment. Unless I don't really know any other way to, well, get XP, I'll just be doing the simple fact of using the zombies at their basic level to get as much XP as possible to actually get my assigned mob. How are they doing actually? Let's have a little look. Their health is... Um, where is that? It is... One bar down, so they are doing... Oh god. Let's hop that quickly and help my teammates out because I'm not being a good teammate. That is my life. I am not a good teammate. <laughs> Actually, to, but to be fairly honest, guys, I am not too bad of a teammate in some situations. So, if you want me on your team, heck, sign me up. Okay, send next. Okay, I have now got the slimes, guys. So now I cannot use zombies anymore. I can only use slimes. So for now, I'm only going to send him one, just for the time being. But eventually, I will get more money, so I can uh, what's my call it? Level up the slime and hopefully get more. Our health is doing alright on our castle, we just need to watch it significantly. And speaking of watching, these guys will go invisible momentarily once they get out of the range of the mage towers, so... Oh, <laughs> they did get a chance, never mind. Um, how are they doing? I'm not too sure. Oh, they're under attack, that's good. How's the health doing? Oh, it's going, that is really good. Jeez, these blazes are doing bits to the tower. Nothing can stop them, jeez. Okay, so blue team's actually- wait, blue team's actually has left a little bit. Oh! Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Are we getting? Win before we getting- oh wait! Oh, did we win? Oh, GG! Well, guys, that was actually a very quick game. And it's still going chaos to- uh, sorry. It's- chaos is still going down there. Whatever. 
Let's get down. Oh wait, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. The randomizer. Um, let's have a look here. Um, between one and eleven, we can only use. Let's have a look here. What towers we can use? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five sorcerer towers for eight hundred coins a piece. All right. Now the troops. Let's have a look. Um, eight. Oh, which one's this? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know math. Witches for two hundred and fifty experience. Not too shabby. Four times less than what the slimes costed, but still pretty good. All right, um, let's send in the troops quickly. Get out of the way. We've got a snipe in time. And they walk my boat. Oh, never mind. That that coal just smashed them there. I just really think the way they, that, like the golems, throw their arms in the air, like they're just yeeting them into the air. I can just imagine that they play their sound effect over uh, the yeet sound effect over them throwing it up. It's like they throw something that just goes yeet and just toss them all the place. I, I should really start working with this. Do you know what? I'm actually gonna use my bow because it's better in air for the sake of this because I can't really crit easily when flying. Come on, give me my charge. Where is it? There we go. That's the vista, baby! Absolutely nothing. Uh, no one upgraded it, so... Oh! Apparently if I shift... Did, I, did that happen? Or did someone else do I think I did it. Um, oh gosh. Our team, is it? No. Their team's leaving. Like, why? Okay, first of all, why is everyone leaving on the opposing team? It's not really that like, fun if, he's, like, if everyone's leaving. Uh, what are we doing here? What's to help that? It's still fairly full. We've only gone down a little bit as well, so... It's not doing too shabby for both of us. Um... We can, do, we can really do with a bit. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say we can do more of a bit, but blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we could do a bit more of the towers down this side. I save them archery towers, even though they are decently well. And before you do anything, I'm gonna send a source story tower in here just to fix it. Wait, what? Uh, what posture? <laughs> Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to my enchanting room. Would you like a hug or... Oh, <laughs> there we go. I think it's something to do with the new um, gimmicks. I don't know, but it might be. People are upgrading these, which that's real nice for you. Thank you. I mean, these are... Oh, blue team one. Wait, did I need? Wait. What? Okay, um, GG. I'm confusing how we win, but whatever. GG. That's the end of the second game. Woo! The odds are now in our favour again, it's 4-3 to us. And, oh yeah, the generator. Let's have a look guys, what's the number going to be for the first one? Oh, no, I opened up the code. The number is 9, what's up with the high numbers? Okay, um, let's have a look, um, yeah, um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, turret towers. Ooh, interesting pick. Alright, we're only allowed to use turret towers, and for the mobs, we can only use six. Alright, um, let's have a look here. Two, four, silverfish. Ooh, nice. Alright, set them in just so we can get the experience up, and we can only use turret towers. This is an interesting one, because I'm limited to coins and space, because I can only use a 5x5 five five area. Like, if I pop it down here... There you go, guys. I can only use an area that's 5x5. Five five. In this case, it'll be like areas like here, 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 and these guys, like tiles down here. Check out board patterns. Oh, castle's on attack. What? Okay, um, that's not good. Can I snipe? Wait, can I snipe them? Boom. Okay, no, I didn't snipe them. I didn't snipe them. It's still pretty even. Okay, so back up. Quick, 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 quick. Uh, yikes. Uh, what's my call? I'm actually sending uh, maybe a little too many zombies. I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, silverfish. What am I talking about? I can't be saying. I completely forgot about the what's my call? It's um, uh, what's the name of it? Silverfish. The second part of it, the challenge. All right, let's start sending in. They're a little more expensive, but it'll be worth it. Uh, I'd say about three will do. To be quite frankly honest, guys, this is actually quite boring because not many people are online. And you know what to say, a game ain't fun if it's not competitive. Actually, that's just my saying. What am I saying? Um, oh, that actually got a strong struggle. They are, are starting to lose health. They're not as low as ours, but they are still losing health, which is good. So, they need continuously say, uh, if our team sends in pigmen, then they can do some damage. You can actually go and add tower real quickly, because why not? And I can upgrade them. Okay, let's have a look. Constantly shoots arrows about 
Arrows bounce about up to five times, wow. And constantly shoots arrows, super long target range, so it's very fast. That can be good for this one here. Actually, I'll stick the corner one, not to range, but rather to um, arrows bounce five times, because it's on the corner. There we go. And now for this one, I'll just say long range, because that way I can get down this alleyway here. Perfect. Um, let's actually let him test out. I don't see the difference. Oh wait, no, I see him. Uh, how's the long range doing? Let's have a little sound in. Never mind, let's do this. Um, yep, they seem to reach nicely. That is really far. Up to here about. <laughs> nice. Look at this one little guy just roaming down the street alone. Let me dunk him from this, what's we call it? Star. It'd be very funny. Alright, and... Yeet! Boost! Oh, missed him. Oh wait, it worked out. Um, let's have a look here. Some drips. And send some more. And I'll send in an out here. Uh, there we go. The other team have got the upper advantage because they've got one more teammate on their team, so. Uh oh. Um, that isn't good. Ah, gods, quick, think, think, think. Meteorite. Fortress. Throw everyone down! No! Oh, I die! No! Ah, oh, no. GG. Uh, what a shame. Well, that was a very long game. But anyways guys, that's going to be the end of today's video of Minecraft Tower Defense with the random number generator. Um, this was very fun. Very different to what the original one was like and it was a lot more challenging considering that if I didn't have the limitations um, restricted to me, then it'd probably make it easier. But that's the whole point of this challenge, it was to make it much harder and it definitely succeeded in doing so. But anyways, if you like the video, then please be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more of my Minecraft content, then please sure to hit that subscribe subscribe down there. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, guys, and turn on notifications so you know when my new videos come out. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.